Hi everybody, uh, as you can see this Calithia is not doing super well, this is a Calithia medallion and it was given to us by a friend of ours, it was not doing well so she gave it to me to see if I could save her. You may remember her from the plant tour that I did a couple of months ago and today I'm going to report it, so let's get to it. Okay you guys, so there are various things that I'm going to be changing with this plant. The first one is the pot, so right now it's in a plastic pot which I think is very useful because plastic retains moisture for longer. So I'm going to keep it in plastic but I'm going to put it in a smaller pot. This is so the roots are a little bit more compressed and the plant is more encouraged to grow. The second thing that I want to do is to change the potting mix. As you can see the potting mix is not the best right now, it's very compressed and just not so nice. So I'm going to change it to a more fluffy and moisture retaining potting mix for this Calathea. So if your Calathea is not doing so well and you would like to repot it, just follow along with me. The first thing that we want to do is to take our Calathea out of the pot. So as you can see we have many roots here and they look pretty healthy so I want to be very careful here. And all we want to do is to massage the roots really careful with our fingers out of the soil just like so. You can also maybe press it a little bit so the soil comes out without damaging the roots. I think this is the central part of our Calithia. We're going to leave it here and prepare our potting mix. For our potting mix I'm going to add 7 parts of coco coir for moisture retention, 3 parts of worm castings for nutrition, of course for drainage 2 parts of perlite, and before you use perlite, because it's very dusty, make sure to soak it in water first so we don't have to breathe all of that dust. Also I like to add 2 parts of coarse pumice rock. And of course mycobliss, which is a mixture of beneficial fungi that will prevent our plant from being shocked and promote healthy root growth. And start adding to our pot. This first layer of soil will give the roots the extra support they need at the bottom. Now we're going to take our plant and put it in the pot. I like to pat the soil down a little bit, very gently, so the plant has some support and the soil settles in. And then we water. Now remember to always filter the water when using it for your calasia because they're very sensitive to tap water. Now to maintain the moisture what I'm going to do is to add some extra water to an external pot and all you have to do is to add a base like this one, maybe some pumice rocks on the side so your internal pot, the one that has your calathea, can stand on those rocks or that base and not inside the water but you will have that extra moisture around the pot. I'll give you an update on this guy very soon. If you reported with me today, make sure to comment below. I would love to know about your experience. Also, if you would like to support this community and the work that I do here, we do have a Patreon page where we meet every month and talk about plants. We also report together and we're gonna propagate together very soon. So if you would like to join us over there, make sure to check out this link right here. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, adios.